The human body is a complicated machine that needs the right balance of nutrients to function properly. Deficiencies in essential vitamins and minerals can lead to a range of health problems, including nerve damage and pain associated with conditions such as sciatica and carpal tunnel syndrome. Let's see which vitamin deficiencies can affect sciatica and carpal tunnel syndrome and what you can do to improve this condition. Stay tuned to PARS Health TV. Lack of Vitamin B12 Vitamin B12 is essential for nerve health and red blood cell production. A deficiency of this vitamin can lead to nerve damage and peripheral neuropathy, which can cause weakness, numbness, and tingling in the hands and feet. Symptoms may worsen in people with sciatica and carpal tunnel syndrome due to vitamin B12 deficiency. The recommended daily intake of vitamin B12 for adults is 2.4 micrograms. Vitamin B12 is found in animal products such as meat, fish, poultry, eggs, and dairy products. Vegans and vegetarians may be at greater risk of vitamin B12 deficiency and should consider taking supplements or fortified foods. Vitamin D Deficiency Vitamin D is essential for strong bone and muscle function and is critical for nerve health. Vitamin D deficiency can lead to weakened bones, muscle weakness, and chronic pain. People with sciatica and carpal tunnel syndrome may experience worsening symptoms due to vitamin D deficiency. The recommended daily dose of vitamin D for adults is 600 to 800 IU. Vitamin D can be obtained from sun exposure and from dietary sources such as fatty fish, egg yolks, and fortified foods. Those who live in areas with limited sunlight or limited sun exposure may be at greater risk of vitamin D deficiency and should consider taking a supplement. Vitamin B6 Deficiency Vitamin B6 is essential for producing neurotransmitters that transmit signals between nerve cells. A deficiency of this vitamin can lead to nerve damage and peripheral neuropathy, which can cause weakness, numbness, and tingling in the hands and feet. Symptoms may worsen in people with sciatica and carpal tunnel syndrome due to vitamin B6 deficiency. The recommended daily dose of vitamin B6 for adults is 1.3 to 1.7 mg. Vitamin B6 is found in foods such as bananas, poultry, fish, potatoes, and fortified cereals. Nutritional supplements are also available for those who cannot meet their daily needs through diet alone. Sciatica and carpal tunnel syndrome can be debilitating conditions that cause chronic pain and discomfort. Vitamin deficiencies can worsen these conditions and cause further nerve damage. To promote neurological health and reduce the symptoms associated with these disorders, it is important to maintain a balanced diet and ensure an adequate intake of necessary vitamins and minerals. What is sciatica? The sciatic nerve runs from the lower spine through the hip and down the leg. A number of different conditions can cause sciatica. Spinal compression that compresses a nerve. Hip muscle spasms that pinch the nerve. Problems with pelvic structures that compress nerves. Sciatica can be a sharp stabbing pain in one or the other leg and even cause numbness. Treatment of sciatica. Sciatica can be treated in a number of different ways, depending on how severe your symptoms are, what's causing your symptoms, and whether sciatica can be resolved without major surgery. Possible treatments include non-invasive, rest, over-the-counter medications, and lifestyle changes. Minimally invasive, epidural steroid injections. Surgery, decompression surgery to remove small bones that can press on the nerve. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell. Now, let's dive right into the lifestyle changes to help with sciatica and carpal tunnel syndrome. Lifestyle changes. If you need injections or surgery, your doctor can perform the procedure. If lifestyle changes help manage sciatica, your doctor may recommend the following. Strengthening your core. Motion is lotion. Lifting heavy objects without sufficient upper body strength can cause sciatica. When you're experiencing sciatica pain, you may want to avoid exercise altogether, but that won't stress your lower back. A strong core keeps the spine stable and improves posture. The key is to challenge your body without damaging it. 
As much as you want to stay in bed all day, most people with sciatica will feel much better if they incorporate regular, short exercises into their daily routine. This can be walking, gentle stretching, or light exercise. Take your time at first, try one of the following, and don't worry if you feel a little uncomfortable while resting. Walk for 2 to 5 minutes at a slow and steady pace. Stretch gently. Alternate between sitting and standing. Prolonged sitting can damage the spine by putting too much pressure on the lumbar discs. If your job requires prolonged sitting, consider alternating standing and sitting desks or taking breaks from sitting every 50 minutes. Avoid a long static position. We live in a society that promotes static positions. If you're working on a computer or laptop, place the screen at eye level so you don't have to crane your neck to look at it. Lose weight. Disc degeneration is more common and more severe in people who are overweight and obese because more weight puts more pressure on the spine. Not sure if you could benefit from weight loss? Calculate your BMI to see if your weight is in a healthy range. Look into over-the-counter foot orthotics. Giving up on uncomfortable shoes is pointless. However, there are additional steps you can take to ensure your shoes provide adequate support. If you're on your feet most of the day, trying over-the-counter orthotics can help. Foot orthoses are shoe inserts designed to correct posture. A 2019 study found that wearing custom insoles improved back pain and improved function over six weeks. So, to sum up, you can try these tips to ease your pain. Stop smoking and manage stress. Lose weight if you are overweight and build strength and flexibility. Correct posture while standing or sitting. Changing chairs when sitting for a long time. Emptying the back pocket while sitting. Choosing a firm mattress and placing the support between the knees. Avoid lifting heavy objects by bending with your knees instead of your back. Give up high heels or add orthopedic insoles to your shoes. Making small changes in your life can help prevent sciatica attacks and manage sciatica pain. If you continue to experience severe pain frequently, have problems with bladder control, or if your toes fall off when you lift your foot, this could be a sign of a more serious condition, and you should see a doctor. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to like it. And please share our videos with your friends to support our team. Thank you, guys, for tuning in. Looking for more amazing videos? Check out the videos popping up on the right and the left of your screen. Hope you have a wonderful day.